Okay. Testing, testing, one, two, and three. Um, for a while I've been wanting to at least manage to just, I guess, get some sort of recording or at least some way of getting these down, these ideas I have in my head of all of these random songs that I just sing at times, all these ideas that come to mind. And they come very sporadically, you know, and there are some occasions where I get to write them down and take note of lyrics that pop up or story hooks that I would write off of, but Usually I never really come back to those, and so it's hard to, um, well, get those ideas going anywhere. So I thought that instead of just having those ideas thrust into the void that is a notepad or just somewhere deep in my phone that I'll never dredge up, it might be a good idea to just start recording and see what happens, you know? <sighs> okay. It's kind of hard to get over that initial anxiety of hitting record and attempting something, especially attempting to put something out there. I don't even know if this is going to go up. I'll, I'll probably force myself to upload it or something, but I'm not sure, you know? Um, I guess right now, what am I feeling? If I had to take a word that I'm feeling right now, I think it would be boredom. I'm feeling a very, a very deep, drowning boredom. A boredom that it feels like I'm stuck. It feels like there are so many things lying ahead of me that I just don't take so many lines in front of me, so many fish hooks that are just waiting for me to grab them, but there's a part of me that doesn't want to. And I'm sure that eventually I'd have fun doing it, but it's really hard to motivate myself to take that big step forward, right? So I guess I'll try and go off of that idea. Boredom, boredom. Okay. Here I am, sitting at the table. All these plans, it all fell through. How I wish. I could pick one and just take a step ahead I don't know where my mind has gone Can it show me a path ahead? Can I seek a way out of my silence Or am I doomed to this? How I wish There was something more inside me How I wish That I knew what I could do can my voice ever guide me to the meaning of 
what this feeling really sees. Cause my eyes standing here can only see so far ahead of me. And all my thoughts clouded so I guess I'm just stuck. I know I could play a thousand games. I was often. <laughs> and I know so many stories I could read. And hobbies I could pick up. No, I don't like where that's going. <laughs> I think I'll just end that there. That's okay. Yeah. Alongside this boredom, and I know that I personally, like I do have a couple of things that are I guess the word isn't wrong with me, but there are things that I understand I need to work on for myself before I can really push myself to do all these really big things that I really want to do. I want to do a lot, you know? I want to write songs, I want to write a book, I want to just write in general. Like right now, my hyperfixation is D&D, &D and I just keep wanting to play that. And, you know, I'm just hoping that someday I'll find some ground where I can just get through it. <laughs> or at least get to a point where I can really enjoy things for what they are. Because I do find myself blockading myself away from truly experiencing the things that could make me a little happier and it's difficult to live like that it is and I did take a few steps to try and push myself towards a healthier lifestyle and I hope that I can really continue going down that path uh, if you're someone that's struggling right now through it doesn't even have to be something similar to me, because everyone has their own issues, right? Then I just wish you the best of luck with that. I just hope that someday you can find that one path, that one light at the end of the tunnel, and maybe have the strength or manage enough to just walk towards it, even just a little bit. Because I know that that first step is difficult, but as difficult as it is, that first step is magical. And it's not like an end-all be-all solution, but it is what it is. Okay. I guess let me pull an idea from my phone you know let's see what we can find there I've written a couple things in here in the notes app um, <laughs> issues to cover at appointment I did that uh, divination wizard that I want to eventually build in D&D &D, probably not gonna happen uh, hyperfixation and hyperfixed I know that I wanted that to be the title of a song that I would write eventually. So maybe that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, there are so many like anime ideas out of stories that my friends have told me that I want to try writing out. <laughs> oh, here's a little excerpt that I 
really liked for a little bit. I gotta drink some water actually. <laughs> Okay. Um, I kind of want to think of a kind of chorus to this. Or I guess not chorus, because this is the chorus. It's more of the... I guess... I don't really know the whole... <laughs> There's like a bunch of things about lyrics. There's like the chorus, and then like the first, I guess, line or something? I'm not sure. But the two excerpts that I do have is... So there's the first excerpt, and then the second excerpt will go at the end of the song, but it sounds a little like this. So when the sky falls down And your heart begins to drown Will you let me be your lifeline? Won't you let me help you this time? And when the walls crumble down And your mind begins to break down Will you let me be your lifeline? Please just let me love you this time Alright, well, <laughs> those were the two little bits. I don't really know what I would want to add on to that is the issue. Because <laughs> it's definitely a whole bit about being supportive, but I don't know, I guess, who the target of the song is, who I want it for. I guess target isn't a good word, I guess subject more? <laughs> I don't really know, I'm kind of new to this whole thing. I have a bunch of handwritten notes of Japanese homework of a class that I ended up retaking anyways. <laughs> I have my Domo head cannon. God bless that man. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's also this part of another song that I eventually want to expand on. So I guess I can just, excuse me, act on this. Like, once again, this is the chorus of a song. I, for some reason, it's only choruses that come to mind. I feel like maybe I should start just writing the lyrics and then keep going as it goes. But it, for some reason, choruses just come to me. And maybe I should take that and start expanding off of it. But it's hard to come back to these ideas. <laughs> So, uh, it's kind of a build-up kind of song. I think I had a melody in my mind that I wanted to go along with this. It was like, uh... <laughs> I also, in the shower or something, made up some lyrics to go with it. It was like, um, can I think of it, please? It would be so cool if I could. My cat's just staring at me from up there. It's, it's crazy. Um, it's like, I can't tell you. Da 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 da. How much you mean to me And I don't know how you're dealing with your issues But no, I'm here standing tall Cause I'm standing on my last legs And I'm begging on my knees all oh, because I don't want you to go And I'm yelling even louder Than I've ever yelled before 
Because I don't wanna say goodbye to you. Yeah, and then um, later on in the song, at the very end, uh, it goes from, I get kind of hopeful, I'm not giving up on this, to an understanding emotion where it's kind of like, uh, instead of that, I'm standing now and I really want you to stay here, it's more of a, now I'm standing on my last legs and I'm begging on my knees. All because I know you need to go Now my voice is breaking down now I'm crumbling to the floor Because I know I should say goodbye to you Yeah, I think... <laughs> An idea that I had when I was thinking of all these little ideas of choruses and songs. I, I know that I wanted to write like a full album or something that was kind of telling this big love story between two people. <laughs> and the sounds that my cats are making jumping around really excitedly up the stairs. <laughs> I'm not sure if they picked up on the microphone. If it did, nice. <laughs> Bear is so scared right now. I have two cats, Bear and Biscuit. I uh, imagine knowing what breeds your cats are <laughs> couldn't be me. <laughs> they they just went crazy there, but yeah. God, I know like up. Uh, so there's like a ladder in my room that climbs up to a kind of alcove area i don't think alcove is the right word but i'm gonna use alcove because it's the word that comes to my mind um, yeah, there's this whole like upper attic ish area that's very open but i kind of adapted it to like a whole like writing thing and i have a bunch of post-its on the wall just all color coded for like song ideas writing ideas and video ideas that i'd want to do it's like it's my creative space but it's been really hard for me to physically and mentally especially climb up that ladder and be creative and I hope one day I'll be able to do that because <laughs> that would be a great accomplishment for me but uh yeah my cats learned how to climb the ladder so they've just been going up and down constantly and it's pretty funny <laughs> especially when you just hear them meowing from up there and you don't know what's happening but you know something's happening <laughs> so it's just there. Alright, um... Okay. <laughs> so I guess that's like three things that I've done so far. We're reaching like 18 minutes now. I don't know how long I want to do this, but I guess just I'm doing as much as I can. Uh, weird dreams. Can we have extra large gloves at home? We have extra large gloves at home. Um, oh dear, yeah, there are some other things that I have here that I can't access because my phone says you need to update something, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bit about, um... God, I wish that... I had the melody that I had in my mind when I wrote these down because that would be insane <laughs> because if I did it would be so much easier if I could just remember the things that come at like the weirdest moments it's like when I'm doing stuff at work or just randomly in the shower especially because I for one don't think it's responsible to, re to record yourself in the shower However good it might sound. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I have too much. 
Uh, oh, there's a list of song titles here. Sure. Uh, the first one is You Deserve the World, followed by Sunk and Sunder. Uh, what could have been, and following that in parentheses, parenthesis, parenthesis, somebody tell me how to pronounce that word, I'll search it up later, it's fine. <laughs> um, in parentheses, it's, there's the words, uh, Marie Allo, which I don't think is actually the actual name, I think that's, it's fine. But yeah, oh god, I love her so much, the design, I'm sad that it didn't work out, but that's fine. Uh, the next song is Soar Paper Airplane, uh, followed by Under the Fog Layer, followed by Happy After All. I think Happy After All probably would have been the title for that, for one of the songs that I sang earlier, or one of the choruses that I did, rather. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think it is. Maybe we'll be happy after all. Oh, it is here. Yes, I do. I have it in a note. Nice. Okay. Gosh, okay. I need to remember the melody to this as well, because otherwise I can't get it the way that it was in my head. I, I guess that's okay if it's not as close as it could have been. Um, one, two, three, four... Cause I just want to sing a song And raise my voice even louder Won't you sing along And maybe we'll be happy after all I guess that there, there's only that one line. <laughs> there's not more to it. I think I just had that one line in my head that just kept replaying and eventually I got the time to write it down, so I'm glad I did. Because I want to expand on that eventually, but it might not happen. <laughs> not at least not right now. Um, Cause under the fog layer, I can see clearly, but when I look up, it's such a blur. Ooh, there's so much potential in that line. I. Honestly, if somebody eventually like listens to this and gets these ideas for songs and wants to push it further, uh, go ahead. Like, Part of me is going to feel bad because I could have pushed it that way, but I don't think I can do it right now. Maybe someday I will, but if you get the inspiration from this, go ahead. You have my permission. Just let me know. <laughs> uh, Twitter, YouTube comments, I don't, I don't know, man. Just do something. Let me know because it would make me proud. If my ideas could come to fruition, even if it's not through my own means, because right now I don't have the means to. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's everything that's in my phone. I don't have much else, although I wish I did. I think maybe next time I do this, I'll probably go ahead and climb the ladder, take a photo of all of the sticky notes that I have in that upper alcove area, and just see what I can pull from there. But otherwise, I think that's probably all that I'm going to do for this. I've been mumbling on for, I think it's 20 or so minutes now, 23, 24 now. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to have to like cut and mute a few things to get the audio to a reasonable thing where it doesn't completely screw you over when you listen to it. Because I know that a few of my coughs and, like, swallows got through, and I definitely don't want that to make people uncomfortable. Even though I know that there's still going to be a ton of it that's absolutely going to get through, because I'm definitely not going to put in the effort, <laughs> at least right now, to mute all of the little things. I'm going to try, I'm going to comb through it, but that comb ain't going to be as fine as it could be, darling. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'll end it there. Um, if you took time to just listen through this whole thing, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Keep doing your best. Uh, have a good rest of your day, evening, night, whatever time it is. Um, take care on your way and have a nice day. Thank you.